Ever wondered how two jets can pass within eyesight of each other at 35,000 feet without a collision? The answer air traffic control builds in a permanent buffer of at least 1,000 feet vertically between cruising aircraft. This isn't guesswork, it's hard law. Controllers worldwide apply a minimum of 1,000 feet vertical separation between flight levels in cruise. That means if you're at 36,000 feet, the nearest jet above you will be no lower than 37,000. It's a simple universal cushion that prevents mid-air conflicts before they can even begin. Why 1,000 feet? Because jet altimeters and autopilots are precise enough to hold altitude within just a few tens of feet. That precision makes a thousand foot step the perfect balance. Wide enough to keep jets safe, but efficient enough to fill crowded airspace with thousands of planes. And that's just the baseline. Jets also carry TCAS, a traffic collision avoidance system that independently warns pilots if another aircraft gets too close. So even if a controller or crew made an error, the systems are built to back them up instantly. This 1,000 foot rule is global. In fact, before 2000, higher altitudes required 2000 feet of spacing because altimeters weren't as accurate. Today, thanks to RVSM, reduced vertical separation minima, jets can safely cruise just 1000 feet apart all the way up to 41,000 feet. So the next time you spot another contrail almost level with your own, relax. There's an invisible 1000 foot wall of air keeping you apart. Question is, does knowing that buffer exists make you feel safer or does it make you realize just how crowded the skies really are?